Well, welcome to Papa Bear's Peppers, and I'm Harold, and today I'm going to be doing something that I'm a little bit worried about. Uh, this is a cross that I've done this year, and you guys have seen the photos I put out on Facebook. If you follow me there, this is a cross between what I believe is uh, this this was put in in and grown as a death spiral, but crossed with a chocolate carburuga. So to say that I'm afraid of it is an understatement, uh, because I I know how hot the chocolate carburuga is. That's Tony Sherwood's chocolate carburuga, and then it crossed with a death spiral, which this was coming from my death spiral plant and and there's no chance of it being crossed up so yeah this was a cross between the death spiral and, and you can see some of those characteristics is the real wrinkly death spiral and then some of the characteristics of a chocolate carburuga so yeah yeah, I tried to, if you look right there, I tried to hook the tail and it's just going to be a real beast of a pepper. Uh, sorry about, I've been out for a while, but I've been busy, you know, and you see it right here. I've been busy. Uh, this is, I did not get a lot of peppers off of this plant this year. It was planted late. But this one is the one that I want to pull seeds from and grow again as the F2. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it open and let's take a look at it. This is actually, and it's loaded with oil. I don't know if you can see that. Loaded with oil. This is an F1. This is and I do have some seeds in here and you can see the insides here. You can see the shine on it. Now, I have grown it with uh, nectar for the gods. Oh, I can smell it already. I've grown it with my nectar for the gods nutrients and using actually Apollo's rise and the uh, and and some of the other ones. Another thing that I've been using this year, been very impressed with, comes from real growers, and that is a a great one too. Um, I tell you what, give me a second and let me bring that to you and show you. This being an F1, I'm making sure that I have every seed out of here to regrow it. Because it's very limited. So those products uh, from Real Growers is Recharge. Now this bag is really faded because I've been using it all summer exceptional product these are all microbial field builders and really feed the soil the Pluto's Peak and the Apollo's Rise these are two that honestly the uh, Pluto's Peak and the Apollo's Rise are, are new to the nectar line and really have not been put out to the market yet so I'm trying those uh, on a side and I can tell you right now the uh, Apollo's rise is a nitrogen fixer really brings up your nitrogen the Pluto's peak helps with your potassium buildup when you're going into your fruiting stage or your flowering stage of your plants now whether that's with uh, different kinds of plants or with pepper plants or whatever they work the same and they really are phenomenal phenomenal aids to your normal growing whether you're a no-till and organic this helps with your microbial food web for your plants to feed 
Same with your recharge. Recharge is amazing stuff. I've really found out that these enhance my growing so I don't have to feed them quite as often with my normal nectar line and that in turn saves me some money. So really good stuff. The uh, recharge, you could feed that as long as you give. They have another product called their Grow Dots. And those two things alone uh, from real growers, you can actually grow out your pepper plants with that in itself. Uh, the Grow Dots are a slow release. And the recharge is your right now. It's kind of like how my uh, nectar line is in the Apollo's uh, rise in the Pluto's peak for different levels and different requirements, but enhancing how the soil is fed and then in turn feeding the plants. Without further ado though, we're going to get on to this. And as you can see, I've taken the seeds out, but I haven't removed anything. I'm, I'm really in a going to be in a bad way. I'm actually using a cream this time instead of my normal orange juice because it's not in the house. It's not something I've been using a lot of. And water. So the smell is really strong. Uh, it's that strong uh, capsicum smell you, you you know that you get from a super hot and so the walls are not really super thick but this thing is tan on the inside dark chocolate on the outside so I'm afraid this is gonna be a real stinger but we're gonna go ahead and do it for this one I'm only doing half because I'll be honest I haven't been doing a lot of reviews and this is probably, I just don't know what I'm getting into. I'm going to go ahead and do this half. I'm already getting a burn. So, while I can still talk, the flavor up front is really nice. Oh my. Oh. It's really hot. It's searing. Okay. I didn't expect that. Okay, that's a painful heat. Uh, the upfront flavor was really good. Oh, almost a sweet, uh, but the heat. Oh, it's incredible. Oh. It's on the back of my throat. And it's super intense. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, literally. taking my breath away. Uh. 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 That's intense. Uh. It's hard to talk. Oh. 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 
So my ears are ringing. I can't hardly speak. Uh. 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 I have oh, such an intense heat. That's what the other half looks like. Oh, I'm, oh, what a massive endorphin rush I just got. Oh. Uh. Massively intense heat. Oh. Oh. I couldn't even breathe there for a minute. Oh. Right up the back of my head. Oh. That was my cross. The chocolate uh, death spiral. Uh, uh, Those are the seeds I'm going to start. My, I'm swimming right now. Oh, the endorphin rush is massively intense. Uh. Honestly, soup. I mean, I can really can't see straight. A great endorphin rash. Oh. oh, wow. So the heat's subsiding now. But the endorphin, it's just like this wave of endorphins. Oh. Lost quite a bit of weight, 85 pounds to be exact. The secret. Hard work in the gym and a keto type diet. The combination of the two. Lots of cardio, lots of weightlifting to slim it down. Oh. This is what I've called the chocolate death spiral. Ooh. 
The, the heat is still, it's kind of on my tongue. It was really super intense on the back of my throat. I, I was really intense. Almost felt like a swelling. I had <coughs> this one pepper of this shape and form. The other ones were more of a narrower. Uh, I only had really three pods, but this one was the largest and the most gnarly of them. So I'm growing from it. It actually, you can see it, it had a tail on it, like a tail that pointed on it. And I don't know what happened, but the tail kind of uh, went away. I've heard one person say it looks like a giant turd. <laughs> And then I told him, well, maybe it's the devil's scrotum. I don't know. But now that was just me messing around. Uh, chocolate death spiral. Uh, again, the cross it was an accidental cross. I had, it was accidentally on purpose. I was growing my death spiral beside the chocolate carbaruga and a chocolate champion. It doesn't look like it took on the form of a chocolate champion. It looks like it shared the genes with a chocolate carbaruga. Judging by the flavor, it, it took on the genetics and crossed with the chocolate carbaruga. Because the chocolate carbaruga has an intense heat, but a good flavor as well. But. And also, I could taste notes of the death spiral. The rings on it, as you can see, are indicative of a death spiral. So, it was an accidental on purpose cross, a very delightful cross. And uh, I'm going to grow out the seeds to this and see what I get from the F2. So, it's come down now. I want to thank you for tuning in, staying with me. Remember, go down there, hit that like and subscribe button. I'm going to be bringing more content. I especially want to highlight the recharge from Real Growers. The, my still, one of my favorites is my, uh, Nectar for the Gods. I've been experimenting. I was fortunate enough to get these samples from from Scott over there at uh, Nectar for the Gods and he sent me these samples that I've been trying. He's been trying so hard to get these on market. Been running into some snafus because uh, FDA, USDA, whoever it was has just been basically telling him there's no way that you can put something in and then it multiplies, which he's been finding out with the uh, Apollo's rise and the Pluto's peak is that the microbial fields are actually expanding when they're added to the soil. And he's been doing test results and sending them to him and they uh, have trouble believing it. It's, but it's actually true. Scott is a freaking mad scientist when it comes to organic nutrients. And I, and I put that out there because I've heard some people say, well, no, but that's true. So, all right, well, that concludes this review. This was again, the chocolate death spiral. Remember, go down there, hit that like and subscribe button. Comment, tell me what you think. Did you like it? Did you not like it? And what you thought about the peppers? All right, well, this is Harold with Papa Bear's Peppers. Have a great day.
keep growing. Thank you.